Hey guys, it's the Slimy Dog here with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. And as you can see, there is some pretty important stuff here. Look at the screen. I mean, look at your computer screen and tell me that is not amazing. It's episode 30. Yep, there's nothing more phenomenal than the fact that it's episode 30 and we are making a video. Remember what happened in my first playthrough when it was episode 30? Why don't you watch that video? I'm not gonna put up an annotation because I want you to search for it. I want you to look for that video. Anyways, thanks guys. I mean, episode 30, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant mind milestone. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, we are, we are seeing Zinzolin here. I mean, nothing really, nothing really that important. Um, he's just staring into this pond. I, I don't really know what it is, but here we have this interesting music. It's very echoey. Um, you're an impressive trainer to have made it this far. Since you went through such trouble to come here, I'll show you something. This is Sparta! Ah, damn it. The legendary Pokemon of Ice. His name is Kurum. Yeah, look at that. Ha ah, ra! Is he, is he laughing or is he like coughing or what? I mean, seriously, that that sound did not sound anything like ha ha. The ice missiles we fired into Opelucid City were created with Kurum's power and Team Plasma's technology. Well. You could become a threat to Team Plasma, so we'll eliminate you here. Ha 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 Look at it, it's Johnson! Not with me around you won't Thanks for removing the barrier. That was a big help. You know what'd be a big help? Healing up my Pokemon. Hmm. We'll simply eliminate both of you. And a side note, I actually healed up my Pokemon. So if you see my Pokemon healed up now, it's not because Johnson did it, because Johnson is a big Jack ass. I mean, I tried doing this before, but nope. Johnson, you know, Johnson just... He just sucks. That's what he is. He's a sucking person. So there we go. Nice to see you back, Lucario. It's been a long time. And hopefully, you'll take the Cryogonal this time. I will take care of this, so... Uh, I mean, you'll take care of the light part. I'll take care of this Cryogonal. If he doesn't kill me. Why would you use Ice Beam on an Embor? Like, why? Give me one reason why you'd use Ice Beam on Embor. And then again, use whatever Head Smash on this guy. I mean, I know it's a strong move, but recoil damage and everything. I could have just used a simple Force Bomb, taking him out. But Lipar, Dark Normal type, into 4 effectivity. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty smart move, too. I mean... I guess it's for the better of both of us that we did it. I mean, for the first time in history, Johnson actually, like, me and Johnson, perfect teamwork, perfect coordination there. Um, we both took down the Pokemon that we needed to, and it all went according to plan. I don't really care who I attack right now, because both of them are effective in special, special attack. What's, what's wrong with that? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Why would you use Head Smash? You have Flamethrower. I saw you use Flamethrower like just one episode ago. Why would you use Head Splash over Flamethrower? Now you're, now you're fainted. Now what are we gonna do? Send out like Simipore or something? Oh wait, you probably are because you're a stupid Pokemon trainer. But that was good coordination. Once again, I mean perfect. Both took down the Pokemon that we needed to, even though it wasn't the Pokemon that I wanted to take down. It both went well, and uh, Weavile there. Hopefully, Simipore doesn't attack it. But, yeah, I should probably be faster. And hopefully, if Simipore doesn't attack it, I'll actually be able to... I'll actually be able to do some damage. Of course, Weavile is the fastest Pokemon around here. And Scald. Seriously. Johnson, get this in your head. It's a Weavile. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to complain since they're not doing any damage to me. 
but really I could have easily taken that guy out one hit KO you should have used Scald on that Scully Pete on the other hand on the other side whatever but instead now I have to use Bone Rush on the Scully Pete yeah smart use a Hyper Potion don't help me just heal up your Pokemon yeah that's what you get you get steamrolled okay so we're just gonna use Bone Rush and wow that's not doing any damage um Dark Pulse actually just use Swords Dance Swords Dance once let him use Scald and get steamrolled again for being such an idiot. Oh uh, yeah, I probably should have used Bone Rush. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I mean, rather guy. Same for Johnson. Sorry, should have used Bone Rush. But really, your teamwork hasn't been too useful either. If you used two Scalds, we would have taken him out for sure. But instead, you decide not to use a Scald, and I have to use Bone Rush now. He uses agility again. Out of all the, why would you use agility? You're burnt. You're, I'm. He can scald you. I can bone rush you. Like, why would you use agility? He's just that grunt is just stupid. Rather, um, so Team Plasma grunt, Team Plasma Zinzolin, both taken out. Yep. The longer you live, more opportunities, la la la, we got lots of cash there, and I'm probably gonna spend it all on Max Repellos. I'm not gonna lose to Team Plasma! By the way, what is this place? Now that's a good question. That Pokemon! It's so icy! <sighs> Could that be the source of the attack on Opelousa City? Dude, I mean, bitch please, like, seriously, we were there when the attack happened, so why would we not know about the attack like you're acting like you're some big genius about the attack you didn't help us in any way you didn't get the switches you didn't do anything you're like hey we need to get the switches now but nope you didn't help us get the switches you just told us to get the switches so we had to go through all those battles all that hardship heal up my pokemon all for you uh yep <laughs> if you got that much sense why do you do something as dangerous as sneaking into our base? That should be obvious. I'll do whatever it takes to get my sister Pokemon back. Are you the one who stole a purloin in Aspersia City five years ago? It's just a purloin. Someone probably stole it and is using it. Why can't you understand? There are other purloins. Why are you so fixated on this one? That's the only purloin in the world that my late grandpa caught for my little sister. An individual's feelings. To, to you, that's probably a matter of great importance. But from the perspective of other people, it's a trifling matter indeed. Compare those feelings against the majesty of this ship. The ship itself is a device that uses the Pokemon Kurum's power. With this ship, the time will... This time, we will conquer Unova! For... Sure, like totally. It looks like Curum has fully recovered. We'll put the DNA splicers to good use. I'll let you take care of them, Shadow Triad. Don't mess with me, you're the one who lost. Nice animations there. Uh, you probably can't see the bottom screen until now, so I just did a screen switch thingy majigger there, you know. All for you guys. Whoa, and the ship is moving. I don't know how I'm going to do dual screen right now, or I could just, yeah, I guess I could try doing something. Wow, that is some crazy ship right there. And trust me, guys, this looks a lot better on the actual, um... DS screen since the recording is recording both the screens at the same time or whatever thingy majigger you want to call it. Anyways, they're flying away now, so there's only one thing we can do follow them. Or wait, we're already in the ship, aren't we? No, but then the Shadow Triad took us, so 
where could the Shadow Triad possibly take us? And I don't know whether you saw that screensaver, but... Uh... Doesn't matter, does it? Team Plasma! No matter where you fly, I won't let you get away. But what's over there anyways? Sorry I'm late. I suspect they're flying towards the giant chasm. The giant chasm? That's deep in Route 22, right? Okay, I'm going, expert. You come too. That Pokemon, Kyurem, wasn't it? Its cry sounded somewhat lonely. Yeah, so anyways, we already explored Route 22, so we shouldn't have too much problem too many problems there. Just gonna buy a few repels and we should get ready to go. Team Plasma is using Kyurem's power for evil? Dot dot dot. Then how should we stop Team Plasma? If Kyurem is like the is like Graydon said, a legendary dragon type Pokemon. The only ones who can stand up to it are Zekrom or Reshiram. <gasps> but neither of them are here right now. Where are the ones the legendary Pokemon res recognizes heroes anyways? I guess I just have to find one of them. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find N in the Hoenn remakes. I really hope you do because I'm I'm starting to miss N. Oh yeah, don't you have their X transceiver number? I mean seriously. Yep, so just gonna go to Dark Knight here, not summarize you, we're gonna fly on you, fly, flying over to, uh, where's that city, Himalau, Himalau city, gonna go fly over there, and I will see you in a second as I get my Pokemon all healed up, and maybe not healed up, rather, but, uh, at least get them, uh, get some get some repels. So I'll see you then. And I'm back after that amazing period of time in which I actually, uh, wait, can you? Oh, that's pretty cool. Faceboard. I like faceboards. Yep, um, so I actually bought some repels as well as some other cool stuff like hyper potions and revives. And did I forget how to get around this place again? Probably did. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just acting like a not smart person. Um, but actually, yep, I forgot how to get to the other side. How was it again? Okay, so there's some... Ah, uh, this is the one we take. We go over here, and it's just a straight path down. Route 22, here I come. Um, once again, just go to the bag. Go over to here, and... Where is that thingy majigger repel? Come on, repel. Repel, max repels, where are you? Oh, wait. Yep, I probably look like an idiot now. Yep. And there we go. Um, yep, control, whatever. Yep, um, yep, 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 yep. I'm saying that way too much. Um, uh, I did not battle her, did I? And there we have the nice little Cobalion thing. If you want to see that, watch episode, uh, episode whatever. Um, wait, don't we have our strength Pokemon? Why don't we use strength then? Why did I not use strength? Yep, I would like to use strength. Devastator, use strength. And push you in there. That's gonna help us if we ever want to get back here. And, yep, see, that's why the strength comes in handy now. We can just walk like this. And not battle that guy. And get around. Um. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff we can actually do in this area. Like, battle Pokemon and get here. So originally we would see Team Plasma Grunts blocking this path. And they still are here, but here we have Johnson. You're already here, huh? Anyone who tries to block us will go running away with their tail between their legs. Hey, it's good. We're all set here. 
It's finally time. Come on, let's go. Seriously, why can't those guys see us? You're all alone. So which one of us are you gonna tackle? It's me. The ex Team Plasma guy. I'm the one Rude asked to be a sky spy. Oh yeah, I remember you. Being ex Team Plasma is really rough, eh? Uh, you know, N was so nice to Pokemon, and all I wanted to do was protect people from the bad people. Well, I suppose, if we don't crush Team Plasma, then you guys, then guys like you and that N guy will always be treated like villains. Okay, I'm out of here, expert. And by out of here, you mean into there. Oh, thank you, that's so nice. Even if we said that... If we said it was for Pokemon, in the end, we were going to do what we do. Please excuse me, there's still one thing I have to do. Um, yeah. You are excused. Uh, yes, I will use a repel, and I think that's about time. In the next episode, we're going to be traveling through this cave, finding the mysteries that are beyond us, and uh, solving it all. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Guys, this is the Slimy Dog signing off. Goodbye.